In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a very simple but very effective hair butter for extreme hair growth. This hair butter is amazing for hydration and it will moisturize your hair like no tomorrow. In return, it will grow your hair extremely fast, only if you're consistent at applying it to your hair. I'm going to be using two main ingredients, which are Moringa and fenugreek seed. Those two combination are extremely powerful together. It will prevent hair breakage and hair loss. I'm also going to be incorporating other amazing ingredients such as shea butter, avocado butter, castor oil and vitamin E oil. All those ingredients combined together makes this hair butter extremely effective for moisture retention. So if you're interested, you know what to do. Grab a seat and let's get into it. So as I mentioned before, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Moringa and fenugreek infused butter. So the first ingredient we're going to be using is fenugreek seed. Fenugreek is rich in iron and protein. Fenugreek seed prevents hair breakage, it revives damaged hair, it fights against dandruffs, it controls scalp inflammation, it adds shine to your hair, and it softens your hair as well. So you can either use fenugreek powder or fenugreek seed. In today's video, I'm going to be making use of fenugreek powder. I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of fenugreek powder into the bowl. The next ingredient I'm going to be using is Moringa. So Moringa is extremely beneficial and very powerful plant. One of the most important benefits of Moringa is that it helps to boost hair growth. Moringa contains vitamins such as vitamin A, vitamin B, and omega-3 fatty acid. All those nutrients nourish the hair and promote hair growth. Moringa also strengthens your hair, reduce hair loss, and increase blood circulation to the scalp. Moringa is a very strong and powerful plant, so one tablespoon of Moringa should be fine. You can also use the Moringa leaves as well. If you can get hold of Moringa plants, that will be perfect so use whatever you have the next thing you're going to need is your chosen oil i'm going to be making use of grapeseed oil in today's video grapeseed oil helps with hair growth it's amazing to seal in moisture to your hair grapeseed oil it's a very lightweight oil which means that it's not going to weigh down your hair it reduces hair loss, amazing for thinning hair and scalp issues such as flaky scalp, itchy scalp and dandruffs. The next ingredient is olive oil. Olive oil helps to strengthen your hair follicles. It increases the lifespan of each hair. It nourishes and conditions your hair. It softens your scalp. It reduces the DHT production. It prevents damaged hair and it reduces hair breakage as well. So you can use any oil of your choice. Don't feel the need to use the same oil that I'm using in this video. If olive oil doesn't work for you, don't use it. You can use any oil of your choice. Oil such as coconut oil, almond oil, jojoba oil, Jamaican black castor oil, castor oil, grapeseed oil. Just use what works best for your hair type. The next ingredient is avocado butter. Avocado butter helps to reduce scalp damage. It contains vitamin B and fatty acid. The vitamins and the fatty acid contained in avocado butter helps to restore your hair, stop hair loss and hair breakage. Our final ingredient that I'm going to be adding is shea butter. Shea butter supply essential nutrients that helps to treat your scalp conditions and improve the overall health of your hair as well. So today's video, we're going to be using the double boiler method to infuse the ingredient and to melt the shea butter and the avocado butter as well. So I went ahead and add water to the pot, then transfer the bowl 
into the boiling water. I'm going to allow the ingredient to infuse for 30 minutes. So make sure you allow the ingredient to infuse for 30 minutes because this method takes a very long time for the ingredient to infuse. So guys, if you guys are still watching this video and yet you haven't subscribed to my channel, do consider subscribing to my channel. In this channel, I do DIY videos that can help you to grow your hair using natural ingredients. And if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So as you guys can see, the shea butter and the avocado butter has melted. So now I'm just going to go ahead and strain it out. So make sure to strain it out. Please guys, do not miss this step. You don't want to have moringa and fenugreek powder in your butter. So definitely make sure you strain it out before mixing everything together. Once I'm done, this is how it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and add two tablespoons of castor oil. Castor oil helps to increase blood flow to the scalp. Applying castor oil once a month can boost hair growth up to five times the usual rate. It's also amazing at moisturizing a dry scalp. I'm also going to add vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil helps to support healthy scalp and hair. I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of vitamin E oil. Once I'm done, I went ahead and mix everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and cover the bowl. I'm going to place it in the fridge for about 15 minutes until the oil is solid. After 15 minutes, this is how the oil looks. If you have fresh aloe vera leaves, you can also add fresh aloe vera to this hair butter as well. Adding aloe vera to this hair butter will give your hair that extra moisture. So I don't have aloe vera, so I'm not going to be adding it in today's video, but usually I do add aloe vera to my fenugreek and moringa hair butter, just to give you that extra moisture. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix everything together using my electric mixer until I get the consistency and the texture that I'm looking for. So I want the consistency of this butter to be very similar to a leave-in conditioner. I want it to be on the running side. So it depends on the texture and the consistency that you're looking for. If you want a thick consistency hair butter, do not mix this butter for too long. But if you want the consistency of a leave-in cream, then you're going to have to take your time and mix this hair butter for about 20 to 25 minutes. If you want that leave-in conditioner consistency. So this is the perfect time to add your essential oil. If you're a big fan of essential oil, you can add your favorite essential oil. In today's video, I'm going to be adding lavender and peppermint essential oil. So I'm going to be adding few drops of lavender and peppermint essential oil. Lavender and peppermint essential oil, both are amazing for scalp issues, such as dandruffs, itchy scalp, or scalp irritation. You can also add preservative to your hair butter, especially if you're going to be adding fresh aloe vera leaves into your butter. Aloe vera contain water, so you definitely want to add preservative to your hair butter if you want your hair butter to last for a very long time. But if you're not going to be adding aloe vera, you don't have to add preservative. You only need to add preservative to hair butter if the ingredient that you're using contain water. So the ingredient that I use in this video does not contain water. So I don't have to add preservative. So once I'm done mixing, I'm just going to go ahead and transfer the hair butter into my container. So I use this hair butter to seal in moisture to the hair. You can also use this hair butter in your deep conditioning as well. So remember guys, when you're moisturizing your hair, always follow up with your LCO method. So basically your liquid, your cream and your oil to seal in moisture to your hair. This technique is all about keeping your hair moisturized for as long as possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. 
so thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys in my next video thank you guys bye